what it do, what it do, what it do, sports say lifestyle. I'm back with another video, so this video is talking about demonic spirits pretty much in churches, right? So this video just popped up in my this idea just popped up in Oh my god that sun is bright. Yo! And I'm going too, like a mug. But anyways, you know, it just hit me like, okay, I want to say this. Like, I asked like a few people in my life, you know, why they don't go to church and like, you know, and it all made sense. Like, shout out to, uh, who's, Jordan the Chosen One. He had made a video similar to this one. Well, pretty much same topic I'm talking about, but I'm throwing my two cents on this, but he was pretty much saying that even the church, churches around like in your area, like churches in this area had demonic spirits. Like people in that church carried out demonic spirits. And he is right. I want, I want to know. I'm going to give y'all a story time. This is a, a, a story time. Y'all listen. <sighs> okay. I didn't notice this until like last year. Well, when I went back to church. Like this church that I went to is called. I'm not going to put the name of the church out there. But let's just say that I know, I've been around this church like nearly my whole life. Well, not completely. But I knew I went to this church since I was like 12 years old. And well, I've been there for like yeah six years, and I stopped going after a certain age. But during like 2022, I can't remember what month I went, but I went back, and oh yeah. It was right around the August. I think after the month, of, I think a few months after August, I went back to this church. And dog, when I say the energy is not right, it's not right at all. I'm telling you, every time I come in, I don't feel welcome. I thought the church was supposed to be a place where you feel welcome and when you greet and meet new people. But by the time I get there, people show their enthusiasm is completely off. And you know what's crazy, like before, like when I was in this church growing up, you know, as a teenager, preteen to a young adult, and being an adult right now, well, I'm still young, young adult, but an adult, they don't do that same treatment that I gave me when I was a teenager. They don't. But they're doozy, like that gave me gave, they mean, like that gave me a sign, like that literally told me something like right right there and there, like. Bro, like these people are not really praising God, bro. They're not really worshiping Jesus. Like they are doing it, but they're not showing enthusiasm. Like you can just tell already. I'm gonna give y'all a demonstration. Like you'll be in a worship, you'll be in a sermon, right? in a worship, like in a service, right? And these people, some will be standing, no singing, and then people that are standing. Now the people who are standing, like, of course, they're not singing. They let you know right then and there, like they don't want to worship. They just enjoying the show. I already, you already know that, I know that. But people who sing like, bro, they don't make, there's no difference. Like they don't make them any different. Like when I'm telling you, when I worship, when I went to that church and I go in and worship, I do it for real. I go in there and sing my lungs off. Like these people out here that's in this church, like I said, their enthusiasm is not on point. It's completely off. So I'm like, wow, bro. So you mean to tell me demonic or narcissist comes to church too? I thought it was supposed to be people who are really looking for God, but in actual reality, these people are just watching the show. These people are faking it. So I had a like that 
literally opened my mind like wow and just got me thinking like i gotta go find a better church i gotta find a church where they don't celebrate pagan oh yeah this church that i grew up with celebrates pagan holidays New Jersey, like all the churches around my area they celebrate pagan holidays you know what a pagan holiday is pretty much it's a holiday that does not glorify god and it isn't made by god do your research on it i'm not going to go into detail like you know pagan holidays that's your research do your own research you have a phone you have a computer but yo now i see why some people say like yo i don't even go to church i don't even go to church like these people that told me that like they had to be in tune that's what i was thinking like they had to be in tune like, they already knew right off the bat like something wasn't right with these churches and now and you know what's funny like i you know what's funny actually i started have that level of thinking too while i was at this church too but i didn't want to believe it at first until i've been elected directed by you know watch these videos on youtube and people who are awakened and I had to like, really like, bro, watch these videos and really took heed of what they said. I'm like, hmm, okay. And then it clicked. And they gave me the signs, which I already told you. These people, they're not who they say they are. They're not really worshiping Jesus. They're not really glorifying God. They're just faking it. In other words, I'm gonna just say these people are what they call, what the Bible describes it, Pharisees, hypocrites. These pure people carry a Pharisee spirit, a religious spirit. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I really gave my life to Christ, before, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all something too. Like, this church, I gave my life to Christ, but I didn't really, like, you know, give my life to Christ like that because I was just raising my hand. Like, I remember how it happened. Like, I gave my, I, they said, if you wanna give your life, raise your hand. I get, but no, that's not the way how you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to give your life to Christ by raising your hand. You're supposed to confess with your mouth that said Jesus is Lord. Jesus died on the cross for my sins. The Bible says, if you confess that Jesus is Lord, you are saved. Not if you raise your hand. If you truly believe in your heart, in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that he died for your sins, you are saved. And a lot of people in the, like, you know, I see these churches, like these people, especially in this church that I grew up in, would justify like, as far as like celebrating these pagan holidays, like Valentine's Day, um, Easter. And I'm like, dog, none of this, like literally, I used to think that this stuff was like biblical, like this stuff was holy, like this stuff was like for God, but no, Christmas is not all this stuff. It's not holy, it's not biblical. These holidays are not biblical. Christmas, Valentine's Day, nah, none of that. And if you're a person that supports that stuff that's watching this, and you feel some type of way, I have to give you the hardcore truth. I mean, God, if I'm lying right now, please cut this video out in some way, shape, or form. Lord, Father, if I'm lying, please cut this video out. But you got to be real like, dog, like, it's like this world that we're living in is getting really, it's getting wicked. Like, you know what's crazy about this? Like, I started to see this world becoming more wicked right around 2020, beginning, like, upcoming 2022, actually. Like, I started noticing, like, before, like, I'm gonna tell you, like, before I gave my life to Jesus around, like, last year, I was in a dark spirituality, but I was in tune. I was using my intuition, but I didn't give my life to Jesus, but I was still following God and still trying to serve two masters. Before I gave my life, I confessed in my heart and gave my life to Jesus. But I even knew and started to see how this world was getting corrupted, like how wicked it is. Because I started to notice, like, it used to be like when women will hide their sexuality, but now they're showing it, they're exposing it. Like, they have no problem with that now. And 
And then on like real life example, like today when I was at my workplace, like somebody pulled up, I was walking the parking lot and somebody was trying to find a parking spot. This woman, or yeah, this woman was literally playing a song. I don't even want to sing it, but man, I, da, 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 da. If you know what that song is, you already know. I ain't finna gonna, I'm not gonna promote that song. That song started to get annoying to me. Yo, like, <laughs> and I don't know a vibration that song carries out too. But all I'm saying is, man, is that this world is getting, like, literally, there's like Roman demonic spirits, like, all across the world. This is an evil world we're living in. A very cruel world we're living in. Oof. Like, it's at to the point where all this stuff that Satan is promoting, it's not even, it's not, it's, it's not secret. It's no longer a secret. It's no longer a secret. One time I seen the news promoting like some area, like I forgot what place. I don't, I don't even know if they even promote like where, where it was, like where, where it was happening. But all I saw was like on the news when I was at the gym, like certain school was promoting Satanism pretty much. And I'm like, wow, so you're telling me that the devil is really showing himself and promoting everything that he's been showing. Like, wow. Like, way before then, like, they was trying to be kept secret. But nope. It's like they always say, spiritual spirituality, the people of spirituality. Like, we're in the age of Aquarius. We're in the age of information. They're right about that. Man. Demonic spirits, like people who care, demonic spirits, narcissists, they're all, all over the place. It don't matter where you go. It literally don't matter where you go. And what I'm, here's my theory, like, I'm starting to think, like, going back in the Bible where God flooded the whole earth. I'm, I have a, like, this is my theory. I think God's going to start, like, do it all over again because the stuff that goes on to this world man and I think to myself like all the time like why am I here but then I realize I'm here to spread the good news I'm here to glorify God's kingdom and I don't care what anybody else thinks of me when I say this, like, and last time I checked, nobody cares about what, I, what I'm what i doing anyway, so it's like, I could care less of what others say. Like, I'm doing this not to please anybody, but God. I'm done, like, trying to please man. All my life, I try to please man, try to fit in. No, it's time to please the one who created me. It's time for me to give glory and attention to the one who sent me, God. And I was like, hey man, I'm not telling you to stop going to church. I'm just letting you know like, what's up? Like, I bet you sure some of you probably like watch this like yo didn't think that there'd be any like the monsters or some of you that watch this are probably did know and stop going to church. But for those who don't, now you know. Yes, even the monster, even demons go to church. Even they go. It's the truth. And this is another. His 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 prime like prime or really a prime example to back this up. Like literally, the people that I was in this church that I grew up with, like literally, the way that they touched me, like this man just put me pat on the back like I worship. Like the way he patted me, I said, "Bro, 
literally, I really wanted to, bro, I said, ooh, I wanted to jump up and punch him in the face, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm like, bro, who pats him on the back like that? So aggressive, like, yo, this is why I say I don't like it when I, like, the way how I am right now, like, I'm literally, since I'm so sensitive to literally everything, like, I can't let people, let people be touching me like that. Like, literally, I can't stand when people, like, try, like, I understand that, like, for God's chosen people, including me, like, we are going to get touched, like, people going to try to touch us, but, yo, that shit's got to be stopped. And what I'm starting to believe, too, is, like, people, they do that for a reason. To want to get a reaction to you so that, two, when you, they do get a reaction out of you, they can say that, oh, she, he, she hurting me. Oh, da, 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 to play the good, to play the uh, the victim role. When in actual reality, they're the ones that are playing the victim. I mean, playing the bad guys. They're not the victims. The Bible does say that when we depart from evil, we do become the prey. So they're the ones that are the predators and we're the prey. Ugh, man. I don't think this video would be this long at all. But I had to, this is something that I had to spill out. I had to get this out of my chest. I had to. Once again, for those who didn't know, now you know. But hey, man. If you got anything you would like to say, man, slap it in the comment section. I'm down to hear what y'all got to say. I am really am. Like, talk to me. So, what's up? Like, what all you got to say? I know you got a whole bunch on your mind right now. But if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time and your energy. Like, thank you for staying sick to the end of this video. If y'all guys want me to make more videos like this, or if y'all got any video suggestions or any topics y'all would like for me to discuss, slap it in the comments. I'm down for anything to talk, like literally any topic to discuss. But hey, I'm signing out. I love y'all. Please stay prayed up. Take good care of yourself. Love yourself. And do what you gotta do, okay? And I am out. Peace.